Hey guys, I just want to share with you my PCNC 1100 uh, Tormach milling machines. Uh, I'm going to put an enclosure on this machine right here, and uh, it's going to end up looking like this. Uh, this enclosure is uh, from 8020 uh, Incorporated out of Fort Wayne, Indiana. And uh, what you do is we order the aluminum pieces and we assemble this like a big wrecker set. Um, in the meantime, while I took this machine down, uh, replaced all the bellows and as you can see here we've put some rubber uh, to cover the bellows which really saves a lot you have to uh, definitely have to put a couple holes in the back to drill a couple holes and, and tap them to, to fix uh, fix that to the lower bed and the same with the front here uh, but it really saves keeping the chips off of the uh, off of the bellows uh, makes them last a lot longer so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get started here and uh, I'll keep you up to date as we go. All right, we've went ahead and we've cut all of our pieces to length. And what we're going to do is we are going to mount this to this edge and we're going to bolt it down. Okay, so we'll have a piece that goes all the way around the machine. And what I've done is I've, I've marked where I'm going to bolt this down to that top edge. So what we've done in the Tormach here is we've wrote a small program that's going to go ahead and drill and then countersink for that uh, a 1032 screw to go down in there and uh, not interfere with the with the plexiglass when we stick it in there. So let's go ahead and execute this program. I'll show you how this works. Real simple. We'll just punch a hole through here. It's a 1364 drill bit. And then we're going to go ahead and countersink with a 516 end Okay, and what we end up with is a countersunk hole just like so. All right, so we'll take you a little bit further just as soon as I get there. So now that we got our, all of our holes drilled in aluminum, we've uh, squared this up and we have clamped it down. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and drill through all of our little mounting holes here that we made on the, uh, the Tormach and get this thing mounted up. I'm going to use a 1032 by 3 quarter screw with a nut on the back side. Okay, we'll be back as soon as we get that done. Okay, now that we have our bottom uh, rail put on here, all the way around, we're going to go ahead and uh, put our upright on, on. Okay, so I'll get those up and we'll get back. Okay, what we did was we took the front and we've assembled just the outside edges on the floor. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to slide the piece of glass up in there, the plexiglass, and then put the upper bar up in there. Uh, and that's making the front of the machine just like you see here. All right, we'll be back in a second. Uh, just a little tip. When you put these angle brackets on, the easiest way is to start the, uh, the little T-nuts or whatever in the back first and put all your screws in it and then slide it into the slot. A lot easier than putting these, each piece in and trying to screw it in. Just a little tip. Okay, as you see, we've got the front panel on and the uprights. Uh, now I'm going to get ready to start sliding the back glass in and uh, that's really all that's left is putting the glass in and putting the gaskets in and, and we'll, we'll go from there, okay? And here we are with the back panel, which I used white in the back and clear the rest of the way. So there you have it. And now we're getting ready to put the side panels in. We have the uh, the side panel in, and uh, I know it's hard to see at the glass, but uh, we got this panel in. I love this stuff; it is really easy to work with, and uh, it's awesome stuff, man. All right, so we're going to get the other panel. I have to take the arm off over here on this uh, on this side here, and we're going to go ahead and stick that other panel in that end and then we're going to start with putting door tracks in here and uh, getting the front sliders on also all right 
All right, we've got all our glass panels in, as you can see. Uh, side out, super nice and clear. And what we're gonna do now is I have taken a piece of quarter inch underlayment and I've cut this to fit into the grooves. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide that back and stick that in the groove. And then we're gonna, we're gonna cover it with uh, aluminum. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and get that in that slot and then we'll get some, uh, I've got some quarter inch aluminum that is right here. It is uh, 10 by 10 aluminum, uh, white on one side, brown on the other. We're gonna put the white side up and we're actually gonna cut that to fit in there and then fold it down over the edge and silicone everything in place. All right, so we'll get back to you as soon as we get there. Before we start with that very front ledge there, I took silicone rubber and all on this inside bottom edge, all the way around, we went ahead and applied silicone to make sure we seal. Okay, we got our front panel put in here and we've coated it with aluminum and it goes in pretty easy slip the board in and then slip the aluminum in and then you have to fold it over and then what i do is i take a bead of silicone and just go ahead and caulk that all the way around so we can get that nice and tight and that's it we'll get the front doors on here shortly something i did forget to mention is make sure you put a t-slot with a bolt in there on both ends and you need to feed that in on that rail before you get everything done or you'll have to take that piece apart and uh, slide one in like I had to do because I forgot and that holds this front plate in even though the silicone is going to hold it also but uh, that's just some extra room to make sure that that uh, that holds well Okay, we picked up some TV mounts here. That's how I got the monitor mounted. So you can see that we can kind of pull this and fold it any which way we want. Uh, same with this down here. This is where I'll, I'll attach the uh, board for the keyboard and the mouse. And I picked these up at Lowe's. Uh, they were on sale, I don't know, for 30 bucks, something like that. So I picked up a couple of them and I have them on my other machine like this too. They work really well. Um, all right, we're gonna move on. Okay, one thing I wanted to mention, uh, especially when mounting this kind of stuff here, you want to make sure that you add these little T-slots, okay? They fit in the rail just like this, right in the end. So you can go on their website, 80 slash 20, and see how all this stuff works. So you can see that it just uh, it slips down inside of there, and then you can put a nut and a bolt, or put a bolt in there and clamp anything you want to clamp. So make sure that when you assemble this, if you have uh, cords that you want to hang from the outside, like I'm going to take the cords here, and I'm actually going to probably have one there, and as you can see, there's these T-slots in here, and I'll probably put some uh, loops in there so that I can make my cables go back towards the computer. So make sure as you're assembling it, you know, it took four to put these on, and as you can see, these come off and you can see the, uh, where the screws go in. So just make sure you add those extra ones in there, save you some time. Uh, same with, I had some here on both ends, which, you know, I forgot to put them in, so you gotta take an end apart and slide them in from the end after you put it together. It's not too hard to do if you do forget, but it's just a, a pointer to help you out. Okay, next step is, we got this silicone rubber here uh, from 8020 again and this has a little groove on it and what we're going to do is this pushes in uh, in this this slot uh, right where the window is okay so I'm going to go all the way around all the windows here and uh, seal them in all right I'll be back to you as soon as we get those in all right we've taken the the rubber gasket as you can see here and we've installed that all the way around on the inside edges of the whole machine. 
So all inside panels uh, got this rubber gasket. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you how I uh, cut this angle piece here. And what this angle piece is for is support for the center section, which I'm going to show you under here. See the center section here so that we give support to the front of this uh, front part of the window here. So what you need to do to cut that is a three quarter inch end mill and a quarter inch end mill. And what I did was I had one that uh, I had I had laying around, so I used it as a sample. So I was able to set it up in the vise. What you do is you cut your three quarter inch pocket first, and then make yourself a quarter inch hole. It comes out right in the middle there. All right, let's put her together. All right, before we go any further, I want to uh, emphasize these little T pieces. And I want to show you exactly where they go before you screw this thing all the way together and start siliconing things. So we need to slide one into this rail right here. We need to slide one into the same rail on the other side. Okay. We need one underneath the front on the bottom of the front rail. We need four of them on this side. To, to mount this type of equipment if you'd like to mount that. And I've got two more you can see in here for, I'm gonna put my cables, I'm gonna string them on a cable uh, tie and I'll show you that when we get there. So don't forget to try to put all those in there before you screw this thing all together. You can take it apart and slide them in there if you forget, but it's a lot easier to put those in now. So here's my finished piece that I've countersunk uh, for my bolts and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mount this under here like so so I'm going to have to drill a hole in this part right here and I've already put a t-slot up in there which I'll bolt the other part too. I'll also have to trim this edge off that's sticking out. Okay we added a little silicone down here to this uh, this area here and we got it all mounted on there so now the front of this is good and strong. Okay, we're gonna go move on and uh, and put the gaskets in the windows. All right, we're gonna take the upper and lower door track, and we're gonna go ahead and cut those, and fit them into the upper rail and the lower rail here for our sliding glass doors. All right, we'll be back as soon as we get that uh, cut. Okay, what we've done is we've taken the bottom track, cut it to length, and uh, as you can see, I drilled a series of holes. Uh, through the first two sides which faces the machine that way any fluid that gets in there can drain back to the Inside of the machine. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this down and uh, we're going to silicone the inside edge Okay, folks, we got the uh, top and bottom uh, window track in You see down through here. That's the top and That is the bottom and siliconed in place so we're going to go ahead and uh, install our doors and then uh, start putting the handles on. All right, we got the glass in the door. And what I got here is there's a, a panel that's not as wide as the other panels. And uh, so the two narrow ones go to the outside. And what you do is you, you stagger these. This goes on the inside, the short one. And this one goes on the outside track. And same thing with this one. This one will go on the outside and this one will go on the inside. That way they can pass and, and close and uh, you'll be, uh, it'll work out all right for you. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna go ahead and put the handles on. So the handles I'm gonna use are the old handles from the Tormach. Uh, when I first bought it, it came with the little, little stuff that goes on the table here. And uh, I saved that plexiglass piece. So I'm going to take those two handles and I'm going to clean them up. And that's what I'm going to use for my main sliding doors. Now that's how they're going to go on. It's going to look similar to this one that's over here. Uh, here's the two handles. And then what I'm going to end up doing is going over to Menards and picking up another set of handles for the other doors. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and clean them up and get them put on. Okay, we got the handles on. We got the uh, 
The ones from Menards I picked up, and these are the ones from the uh, original Tormach. And as you can see, we have the monitor and keyboard all on a pivotable table, pivotable table that uh, we can move around and do whatever we need there. And uh, so we got a couple electrical uh, hangers here in the back. Um, keep our wires straight. Yeah, we just got a few more little things to do before she's up and running again. Okay, we got everything done here. I'm gonna give you a walk around and show you how it looks. Uh, it's the front side, here's the back side. Now you can do this whole project for, uh, I've got about uh, $480 in the glass and we have $400 in the 8020 uh, bits of aluminum so right around $900 you can uh, you can accomplish this nice enclosure I had to make some changes to my uh, my flood coolant system and to bring my hose out to the front um, and that's it folks there's the angle that's in the front for support as you can see we got her done. Uh, if you guys got any questions, you can drop me a, drop me a line or an email. Uh, I can also give you the uh, sizes that you need to get this done. All right, thanks for watching, and have a great day.